All right, so we, we're, we're at the end game, and the end game mm-hmm. can have some significant points that, uh, 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 attached to the, the action that's at, but it's also typically a little bit more of an engineering challenge involved with the okay. end game because it's supposed to be sure. kind of the culmination of things, right? Mm-hmm. This year's end game is... Well, in this year's end game, there, there are, uh, like, you, like you said, Tim, there's numerous opportunities to score bonus points. And by far, the biggest opportunity is this year, robots can hang from the lander. Just like at the first of the game, you can start from the lander and descend. The end game being the last portion, I think it's the last 30 seconds of the game. Um, any lunar, or any rover that can reattach itself to the lander and lift itself completely off of the playing field earns a significant uh, uh, amount of bonus points. So, just to be clear, it's not a certain height. It just has to be up off the That's correct. play floor, right? That's so correct. So they don't have to reach, they don't have to hang themselves six inches mm-hmm. high or ten inches high. They just have to be up off the floor, right? Yes, off just the some playing field. Gotcha. They have, to, they have to get some air. That's so exactly right. So we've got here an, a, a miniaturized version of mm-hmm. a bot just to kind of simulate sure. a lifting mechanism because that's okay. basically the, the important part of this idea of right. lifting. So... Along with this, we've right. got uh, a frame to kind of simulate yeah. the, the right. scoring uh, goal. Yeah. So um, what we did to, to show you uh, one approach you might take is we built a uh, Tetrix frame here. And uh, in this year's game, the lander has a hook or a handle on it uh, on all sides. And uh, that's what you want to attach to. And the little mini version here uh, is equipped with one of our Tetrix uh, linear uh, rack and pinion mechanisms. And we've... Uh, we're just doing a, a fundamental example here um, to show you how you, you may utilize a linear motion element to get your lander um, off of the playing field. Uh, we're, driving it, we're driving the pinion gear here with one of our torque nano motors along with a 40 tooth gear mesh to an 80 tooth gear. Okay. okay. Yeah. So typically uh, there has to be some mechanism where your, your arm, and I didn't put it on this one uh, specifically sure. just to kind yeah. of show an yeah. example and let you kind of think this through. but. You have to come up and be able to hook that. And once right. you've hooked that, then you can energize your motor. So Exactly. So we've got our torque nano motor uh, power, just on a 12-volt power supply here. And we're just going to show you how the mechanism works. Cool. And that would be right. limit, lifting your robot up off the, off the floor, right? Definite air Absolutely. Time. Major bonus points if you can do that. So, again, it's not a difficult or too difficult difficult of a challenge mm-hmm. if you kind of break it down to its core elements. So right. we talked again mm-hmm. about the game overall. We've got that navigation challenge, uh, typical to all games this mm-hmm. year. Big component of that, getting to the crater, right? Right. It's got the That's scoring right. elements. We've got to collect and then deliver the scoring elements. Again, when you break that down, mm-hmm. they can only control two at once. That's right. Gripping mechanisms, some kind of a shoot delivery type of thing, potentially. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, the end game where they have the opportunity. They don't have to do this. Um, and let's make that clear, too, because one of the things I really appreciate about the FTC and the FTC games is they really scale it. They, sure. they give teams the opportunity to work to the level that they are capable of. So if you don't feel like you're up to the engineering challenge of creating a lifter, you don't have to. You can still score in the game and not do that portion. You don't sure. have to lower yourself from the beginning part of the game. Right. Sure. So it uh, allows a team to kind of work at the mm-hmm. level they're comfortable with. Sure. Gives them a challenge, encourages them to go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to try that. I'm going to go ahead mm-hmm. and push myself. But you don't, you're not necessarily um, felt like you can't participate if you don't feel up to that. So I really appreciate that about um, FTC, and that's one of the wonderful opportunities teams have and why I would right. encourage anyone to take the opportunity to participate because of that. It allows them to work at their particular level. I, I agree. So that's kind of this year's game. Okay. Mm-hmm. We hope everybody kind of enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, that was our take on the game. And hopefully now you have a little bit less of a uh, fear or apprehension about participating in the game. So mm-hmm. like we always say in all our videos, have fun. Build some robots, come back and see us.